Okay, you know what? I never thought I was ever going to touch this subject with a 10-foot pole, but uh, here I am. Okay, so we are going to be talking about Superman. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't believe I'm talking about Superman. So, if you guys don't know, I used to at least not be a DC fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I have liked certain parts of DC, but I've never really gotten into DC. And like, the, the DC superheroes, everyone knows their names, they're so famous. Batman, the Joker, Robin, you know, Wonder Woman, um, Superman. The quote unquote first superhero ever, right? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, for the longest time, I did not understand why people even liked this character. I mean, let me rephrase that. I understand why people like this character, right? It, it's it's Superman, man. Um, but for me, I personally like characters that I can relate to. That has been my whole thing, right? And that's why one of my favorite characters of all time, and still to this day, without a doubt, will be one of my favorite characters ever, is without a doubt, Tony Stark. Now, I know you're thinking of what you're thinking. Um, Dylan, you're not rich. How are you? <laughs> why are you so somehow able to relate to Super uh, to uh, Tony Stark? Well, the reason why is because I really like his story. Tony Stark's whole story comes down to him just being a person. Yeah, is he Superman? Is he the greatest hero ever? No, he's human. And uh, um, at least in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, again, I like I like Iron Man all over the place. I, I know that in the comic books, he's kind of a jerk. And that's the thing, Tony Stark's character He's kind of a, a a jerk, right? He he starts off like someone that you definitely don't want to be friend or friends with, but at the end of the day, he does care. And, and um, not only was he injured, but he is an injured man trying to do his best to become a hero, and not even become a hero. Becoming a hero is not his goal. His goal. He's trying to both right the wrongs that he's already created and try to move on as a better person. That's just something I can relate to, and that's just something I really like about Tony Stark's character, because I feel like every single day, everybody should be uh, uh, trying to be a better person than they were yesterday. I feel like that's, that's something that everybody should do, and I really like Tony Stark's character because of that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I also like, like uh, other stories like uh, uh, how um, Anakin Skywalker turns into Darth, Darth Vader and, and um, the villain's type of characterization there. I mean, I do like villains as well, right? Um, and you can kind of almost say that in the beginning, Tony Stark starts out kind of like a villain. Um, it's just interesting. I always will like Tony Stark as a character. He is my Superman, and he is the character that I really kind of grew up with, and I know it's really funny because there was a time where Iron Man really wasn't that much of a popular name, and uh, literally when the first Iron Man movie came out, oh, I absolutely had, had a blast with it, but my favorite Iron Man movie is actually the one that Everybody tends to not like very often, and that is Iron Man 2. I'm not gonna even mention the next one after that, but let's, let's not go there. Um, but even at the end of Endgame, Iron Man is just such a great character, and I know, I know, you guys aren't here for Iron Man talk, but I have to, because speaking of Superman, my Superman has always been Tony Stark, has always been Iron Man. And uh, shout out to Robert Downey Jr. He's a fantastic character. But let's get into the character of Superman. What have I thought of the character of Superman? Well, Superman has always been perfect, in my opinion. And I can't relate to perfection because 
I'm not perfect. No what no person is. So I can't really understand why people related to this person. Superman's perfect. He has super strength. He, ha he has a, um, a crazy powers. He can fly. He can do this. He can do that. I have never personally been that big of a fan of Superman because to me, whenever I thought about Superman, I always thought of him being perfect. And that's just something that I just don't like. I don't relate to. And then you get into, then you get into the DC movies, the live action DC movies. Um, and those movies, I'm gonna be honest with you, basically confirmed my hatred of Superman. Now, I, I get his backstory. He came far away from a planet that, you know, it, it's the classic Superman. Story. I mean, God, God sakes, they made humorous jokes at, at, at it in Megamind. He comes from an alien planet and uh, it, it, um, uh, from a race of super, super being, beings. Um, I, and now I understand how his power works now that I've gone into uh, the uh, DC universe. Thanks to my buddy, uh, shout outs to my buddy, the Austin there, who actually showed me some good Superman movies. While I did not necessarily like the live action ones, I definitely became a fan of um, the animated ones. And it's even made me want to go and watch uh, Superman the Animated Series. I, I must admit this. Will Superman ever become my favorite character? Oh, hell no. I much prefer Batman as a character. And even then, Iron Man takes the cake, oh, 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 even over Batman. Iron Man's just going to be my favorite no matter what. Um, but my favorite uh, superhero when it comes to DC is Batman. Um, Superman, when it comes to Superman, it, I, I have at least accepted his character. And I, and I get it. The people, uh, the reason why they like, like Superman is just, it was always something to look up to, right? But, um, yeah, to, to me, to me, that has always been Iron Man. I, I've never looked up to Superman. I've always thought that he's just been perfect. And now that I've kind of seen him grown as a character and that it actually a uh, bit been weakened, basically, like, like th there are some characters, and I didn't understand this as a kid, right? There are some characters who are able to defeat Superman. Now, I, I know the whole thing of Kryptonite. Uh, the magic rock that takes a, uh, the, uh, that takes away Superman's powers and makes him weak. Um, I actually never understood that concept. Like I understand the concepts, but it's kind of like uh, Achilles' heel, right? Like I never actually really I understood the concept, but I never actually really cared. I've never actually been able to put that uh, and, and relate that uh, uh, to um, the character of Superman. For some reason, that just happened. But his Achilles heel actually becomes a big part of this character with, with it, in the story, and that's something that I've even really just come down to like. I can't believe it, but the animated Superman movies that I have seen, especially Reign of the Superman as well as the Death of, uh, of Superman, probably the two best mo movies uh, if, um, I've seen uh, with him in it. I've overall just enjoyed his story. I can't believe that I'm actually saying that, but I was wrong about Superman. There, I admit it. What do you guys think? What do you think of the character of Superman? And are you like me? Do you picture Superman as perfect and do you like him because of that? Or do you not like him because of that? Let me know down in the comments below, but I can definitely say this, at least with the animated Superman movies, they've done a really great job. And my buddy, uh, shout out again to my buddy, the Austin there. He's done a really good, great job at making me at least appreciate Superman as a character. Whereas for the longest time, like, I used to say, I hate DC everything, and I didn't care. Then you got me into Batman, like, okay, Batman's okay, but I hate Superman no matter what. Now I can finally say, Superman's not that bad. Thank you guys for watching, and I think 
what it comes down to is really just the fact that he isn't perfect, he does have flaws, and I like that in him. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I am out for now. Bye. Subscribe to Dylan's Little Hobbies right now. <laughs> you know, this actually isn't 10 foot, it's only 7 foot, but I thought it was worth the joke. I don't know, I thought it was funny. <laughs>